Hey yo, what's up fellas and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris as always and the episode of today you are going to have fun around while we are going to see on how we can detect any website for technology that made up it. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to show you how to, to detect if a certain website is built using which programming language and which server is using and all other fun stuffs. And before we proceed to anything, we have to know why bother. Uh, we have to know this one when we are uh, in education, when we want to know the reputation of certain websites, if they are working fine, and then we can take it from there and we can breed our own website by basing on the reputation of the websites. And other, um, important and other important thing to know about this one is when a customer asks you to bo to breed a website that look like the other one for example um someone can come and uh, ask you to breed one of the website that uh, look like twitter and it can be very very overwhelming if you don't know how the twitter is breed maybe you can breed it with, with, with another technology but it's better when you try to uh, to observe the functionality and try to copy cut the uh, the whole idea on the technology that made up that website and without talking too much let me go ahead and show you one extension that helped me to detect that and the extension is called Wapalizer. Wapalizer you can find it in the uh, Chrome web store you can go here on um, extensions you go here up and then you can see a uh, open Chrome web store you can go from there and then in this case you can go and type like a wapalizer like this one i think okay now it's prompt here and this extension i have already installed it but if you didn't install it later you can go ahead and click on here and then you can see you know uh, instead of removing from chrome it will prompt you to uh, add to clone and you can see now it goes like five stars letting it's good you know many developers like this one because it helps them to detect what technology they can use in their websites and so they can based on the reputation of others to breed the better and the beautiful websites after installing this extension it's free i will leave a, a link in the description yeah, it is now 6 mb you can see now how it was updated literally like in june 28 and you can go ahead and install it after installing it i'm going to show you I have five websites that we are going to walk around and see the technology that they are built in. I let me start from the Twitter. The Twitter website is now more the popular website that many people uh, use for their daily tweets uh, or any other updates. And now it's it's built using uh, this technology. You can uh, you can click on this icon here when you install the Wapalizer very uh, clearly or free you see it on here if you don't see it on here you can go here and you um and pick on more tools then extension if it doesn't appear you have to see to check if it's turned on or off okay moving on let right, me go to twitter when you click on here it will now show us on the analytics we can see this one it's called branch so it's now your it's now your effort to go and check what branch is we can see what we call google analytics we can see blogs to use blogger when to uh, when to just two web frameworks to use express and then the miscellaneous web park gravata clip broad js javascript libraries you can find jquery programming languages you see there is some node javascript python java and web servers you can see there is express and open gse and if you want to see more information you can now go to the pro and then you can unlock it more futures but but uh, for here i see now this information is very very helpful so if you want to learn a certain programming language and you want to know the uh, website that that currently use it you can start from here moving on from uh, now twitter when we go to the youtube youtube now it's now big social media that many people get interested in very easily you can go on here when you click on Wapalizer it brings a lot of things for this time and, and what I can tell you about YouTube is that the update 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 daily maybe sometimes we will come and find some programming languages they are using and other time we will be uh, amazed by how they change it it's, they change every day but um, 
the coolest thing i liked on youtube is the analytics you know analytics is the very very important thing where we are interacting with uh, our websites we have to know how many viewers came where they came from how many time they spend on the web how all those kinds of analytics are now very very handful when you are dealing with websites another thing on youtube you can see now they use what we call react if you don't know what react is you can go ahead and check out it is the very best library that is used to make single page application and a single page application is the application that you can do or web application and it will automatically load without uh, having to click the reload okay we go ahead and check that out it's very very understandable moving on and this is was youtube let's go ahead to the very giant here it's called microsoft and you can check it where, where, where what is now built in okay we'll apply it here you see analytics they have what you call comscore adobe experience platform identity services click tail and marketing automation they use adobe target uh, javascript framework they use they use the required js and all other things and some websites will never never index their uh, programming languages or the technology they are using for example i get amazed when i was visiting the apple when you click on Wapalizer, you see it will only show us the marketing automation and the A and B testing only. And you can ask yourself why this? Maybe uh, the developers they they they, they don't want to, to reveal the secrets. You know the Apple stars. Apple they 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 likely to hide their technologies or their things most of the times. You know, and the tech te the technologies always they are very very fun to understand. Okay, and uh, we have now seen youtube twitter microsoft and apple apple it doesn't show anything important more uh, more than the telling us marketing automation and ab testing so it's now very very complicated to know the server they are hosting on the programming languages they use the library they use oh that's that's somehow tricky okay let's move to the Another one, the, uh, the other website that I chose and it amazed me on what it's written uh, in is what you call Tesla.com. Tesla, you know, Tesla Motors, that is the uh, training technology of breeding the electric cars. They have a website here. So let's go ahead. I was amazed to see that they use a CMS. And in this case, they use what you call Drupal. And the analytics they use what they call Akamai and Parse and Go Analytics. On the um, JavaScript libraries they, were, they, they use what they call Boomlang. And the programming languages again they use PHP. Mm, okay, not bad. And the CDN they use what they call Akamai. Okay, guys, uh, I hope you have seen now how you can you can use this information to gather the other information again from any website and so that you can go and sit on your office you have to start a uh, learning the structure of a certain website and then you can copy cut or we can copy the structure and the technology that the web is built in and i hope you guys liked this video if you liked it don't leave out if you don't leave out without pressing the like button and if you're coming on this channel for the first time don't leave without pressing the subscribe button once and as always stay cool see you another time peace out